Today we're reviewing seven different reasons capacitors fail. We've got age of equipment, loose connections, brand not that great, compressor requiring different microfarad sizes, dirty air filters causing low airflow, dirty or bent coils, refrigerant leak or bad charge. More details coming up. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released okay, for you. Went ahead and pulled this one out. Is it tested bad too? The 35. 0.19. So this is just a good thing. Just sparing, sparing the call outs. And this one, the fan was was weak too, fan cap. So glad to be. I'm gonna switch it over to the Titan Pros here and uh, get it done. All right. This one's all changed out. Got the Titan Pros going. <laughs> Better summer now. <laughs> All right. This, uh, and some of why my capacitors may be, you know, bad. It could be loose connections. Okay. And yeah, some of the reason that these may be going bad faster capacitors is it is a 30-year-old unit. So, yeah, bears in mind. Uh, the compressors, I believe, been replaced before, just based on the the uh, unions and the placement of the accumulator. Mine usually the accumulator is outside the unit on most of the units. Uh, you can see the condition of the filter dryer. Most likely at the same time the compressor was changed out. Suction line filter dryer was added and uh, just just all around bears in mind. So. <laughs> um, but it's still uh, still alive, keeping these alive. Um, and hopefully the Titan Pros are going to last longer. Time is going to tell. I haven't proven that out yet. So we'll see. Um, time will tell. And but that can be some of the reason why I'm replacing so many capacitors. Still a lot cheaper, you know. Twenty dollars, five dollars, twenty-five dollars capacitor, whole new unit might be three grand, you know, four grand, depending on what you went with. And the air conditioning industry is in a state of change as they're phasing out R22 supposedly by 2020, so um, I've got R22 systems, and it was a great system, but uh, I don't really particularly fond of any of the current uh, replacements, as some of those may even be eventually phased out as well, so um, until a better alternative comes up, I'm trying to hold out with what I've got going, and, uh, and also just for, you know, making things work out. Okay, that's in my next unit. This one uh, it has been replaced with a Titan Pro. It's been about six months, I believe. We've got 34, got 7, that's good. And 4.88 for our fan cap, and that's good. So we're good there. Alright, All right, this one's running, but the fan's starting to sound a little weird. cover here which I needed for another building. Uh, and if there's not something else missing up here, then I'll use it for that one. Yeah, this unit just turned on for the fan. Someone was here in 2001. In June 
It was 105 degrees ambient temperature. It had 295 on the high side, 64 on the low side, and the amp draw of 12.4 amps. It's now 2018, February 2018. So, yeah, 17 years later. There's the wood. Capacitor. There's the metal. Right. Okay. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are. You should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs.